everyone, welcome to Wager Talk TV. My name is Minty. You can follow me on Twitter at Minty Betts, and I'm joined by Ralph Michaels at Cal Sports LV on Twitter, and Adam Burke from bangthebook.com at Skating Tripods on Twitter. Give them both a follow, guys. In this video, we're going to talk about the Tampa Bay Rays regular season win total set at 90 wins. I don't know how I feel about this one, Adam. What do you think? I know you like the Rays in this. I love it. It's my favorite American League season win total. It's my favorite season win total over bet for the season. I mean, look, this is an elite pitching staff. This, in my estimation, is going to be the best pitching staff in baseball this year. The rotation is great. Mm -hmm. The bullpen is great. And if you look at them from last season, they were third in ERA, first in FIP, third in XFIP, second in strikeout percentage, had the third lowest walk percentage. They got less than 170 innings from 2018 Cy Young Award winner Blake Snell and his teammate Tyler Glass now. Two of the highest upside arms on that team. They only got 167 innings from those two guys. Wow. So this pitching staff can get even better. The offensive numbers don't look great, I will say that. But part of that is because Tropicana Field is a terrible offensive ballpark. Yep. So they can win a lot of close, low-scoring games there. Their offense played a lot better on the road last season. Mm -hmm. They scored almost five runs per game on the road, which will definitely play with a pitching staff like this. They're just they're a fully loaded team. I think they've got a very good shot to win the American League East. I think a World Series future makes sense on them. I like their manager, wow. Kevin Cash. Love this Rays team in so many different ways for this year. Really? So you think they can take down the Yankees, too? I do. Especially it's, with... Uh, it, it, it's been a rough spring out. training for the Yankees, too. Yeah. Luis Severino out for the year with Tommy John. Giancarlo uh -huh. Stanton, news came out yep. on the day we recorded that you know he's going to miss opening day. Mm -hmm. James Paxton's hurt. Domingo yeah. Herman suspended. Yeah, you're a right. lot of things are working in Tampa Bay's favor here to go and win this division. And in fact, if you look at some of the alternate standings metrics from last year, they were a better team than the Yankees. Yeah. Two notes, Adam. For those that don't know XFIP and some of those other terms, Brian and Adam did a video. Make sure you guys check that out. I've got one more question for you, Adam. You know, much like offensive and defensive line play in the NFL and college football gets overlooked. Talk about the defense Tampa Bay has. Yeah, One of the top five in the, in the league? Yes, I, I definitely think so. I mean, th this is a very smart, very numbers-driven organization. So yeah. they do a lot of things that, you know, that are improvements that a lot of people don't see. Defensive positioning, making sure that everybody's ready. And that's the thing. They have guys that hit, but the guys that don't hit, Mike Zanino, Kevin Kiermeyer, Manny Margot, all elite defensive players. Mm -hmm. So they're providing value in another way. They could even go with Margot and Kiermeyer, just two guys in the outfield if they wanted to. That's how much ground those guys cover. Wow. I love listening to I Adam love talk that. baseball. Yeah. Now, I can't, I can't add anything baseball, guys. I'll tell you what, I'm doing football work, so I don't <laughs> spend time doing it. But, you know, I have to throw some TNA out there, of Minty, course. right? So, you know, here's a couple things I wanted to point out. Uh, like I said, I, I read Adam's stuff, and I love his stuff. Make sure you check out his guide. Uh, Adam Burke, MLB 2020 guide, Amazon.com. You can buy it. Um, but a couple things to note. You can only have 2,430 wins. Okay. There's 30 teams, 81 wins per team. You can only have 2,430. The current numbers at Caesars has 2,446. So there are 16 games slanted more towards the over. Why? Public people like betting the over. Right. People come to visit Vegas. And if you're a hometown fan, you're not going to bet under on your favorite team. You're going to bet the over. So the numbers are slanted towards the over already. You almost have a .6 edge on betting the unders in each team already built in. Second thing I want to mention is I did a chart. I'll put this back up on Twitter tomorrow now that we're getting into some more with baseball. And all I did is I went through the last nine years at – how much teams improved or how many wins their win total dropped. Because you look at the differences from last year to this year. Mm -hmm. Houston last year, 107 wins, their win total 94 and a half, so 12 and a half less. The San Francisco Giants, nine and a half less. Minnesota, eight and a half, Cleveland, seven and a half. On the flip side, the Angels, 72 wins last year. They're plus 14 or 86 wins. You know, we'll see. They were so injury prone. The Padres are 13. The White Sox are 13. The Reds are 10. So how often do teams increase by 10 or more wins or see their win total drop? You know, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have eight teams this year mm -hmm. that are nine and a half wins higher or lower than last year. So is that a lot? Should you be afraid to bet those? My chart's simple. I went through the last seven years, 
and counted how many teams improved by 10 or more wins or fell by 10 or more. 12, 15, 15, 12, 19, and 14. So in the last six years, there's been an average of almost 14 teams each season that have improved by 10 or failed to win by 10. So don't worry about those big swings. Right. If there's really someone you want that's 10 away or 10 more than last year, don't be afraid to bet them. Or if they're falling back by 10 or more, don't be afraid to play that under as well. Wow, I love that. Thank you guys so much. If you like our videos, hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up and be sure to share our videos with all your friends.